to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to create your customer invoice through Avon.com. So I highly suggest you watch my video on how to place an order on Avon.com. There I show you how to place an order by creating your customer profile. And so what I mean by that is every customer that you have should have a customer profile and you can create that for them. Um, how to place an order for your customers, how to add order samples and brochures. But today I'm gonna sh uh, show you how to create invoices. So there are some representatives that prefer to, cr uh, uh, to create their own invoices by manually writing them out. So if you're somebody like that, go ahead and continue to do that. I find it easy though to just uh, do my invoices through avon.com. So the first thing you're gonna wanna make sure you do is that your customer again has that customer profile. I show you how to do that in the previous video. So let's say the order comes in, you're ready to deliver the order and you wanna create the invoice. You're gonna go to where it says manage business over here. And under web office, you will see it says customer invoicing. Go ahead and give that a click. So here it's showing me all of my customer invoices and they're already created, which is amazing. So let's say that I have this customer here, Carol Judge, and I want to go ahead and before printing out her invoice or sending it over to her, I want to actually view it. I'm going to uh, check this little mark over here and I'm going to go all the way down and click edit invoice. So here it is showing me my customer name, the campaign where I place this order. And then if I scroll down here, you'll see I can actually change the service charge, the tax rate, and so much more. So first let's focus on this service charge. I highly recommend that you charge all of your customers a service charge. It is up to you as a representative what you wanna charge your customer. Every representative is different. I do it depending on how far I need to travel in my car to deliver the order. If I have a customer that lives pretty close to me, like maybe like a two minute drive, I'm gonna charge her a dollar. If somebody maybe lives a couple of miles away, I charge them two. If somebody lives a little bit further away, I charge them three. So again, it totally depends on you. Um, this customer I have here, I charge her $2. What I would suggest though is be consistent on what you charge them every single time. So again, your call, however you wanna do it. And then you're gonna insert your tax rate. If you don't know what your tax rate is, when you receive your invoice from Avon, look at what Avon charged you. Everybody is different depending on where you live. Where I live in Michigan, the tax rate is 6%, so I make sure that is 6% there. And then I'm gonna scroll down and look at the products that she ordered. So if I need to review this, um, I can go ahead and review it here. If I wanna give my customer a discount, I can go ahead and do that here. Let's say it's her birthday and I told her I'd give her 10% 10 off, 10 off her entire order because it's her birthday month. I can come in here and type in 10 and you're gonna see that this price changes from 399 to 359. So these are little things you can do for your customers. You can customize. Um, I'm gonna go, put that back to zero. Let's say for example, um, you wanna delete a product because maybe she no longer wanted it or it didn't come in, what have you. you and delete it here. Let's say you wanna add a product. You can go ahead and do that here. Add a product and then you can go ahead and type in all the information and then update it to her invoice there. So there's a lot you can do here with your customer invoices. So let's say this all looks good to me and I wanna preview it. I would go ahead and click preview here. And you see here, it looks so nice and professional. Here's her name, here is my information. Keep scrolling down and here's where she can see the itemized invoice. So it's showing her the quantity, product number, the description, the price, and the total. And this is the subtotal, the service charge that I, I did of $2, the tax at 285, and then she owes me 5029. So now I can come in here and print this easily here. I can download it. Maybe I just wanna download it and send it to her through email or, or through text, or maybe she's somebody that would like to see a physical copy so I can print it out for her, what have you. But that is how you are going to create and edit your customer invoices. It is that simple. And again, that is why it's so important when you are placing that order that you create the customer profile for her add her to your address book and um, when you're placing the order place it under her name because it makes it so much easier when you're creating that invoice let me know if you have any questions in the comment section down below i hope you found this video very helpful and i will see you in the next video bye